My name is Bella, and this is the second episode of Teacher Trivia, and we have three contestants who are here to introduce themselves. Mr. Trico, English. Mr. Smith, choir. Mrs. Mitchell, FCS. So, we are going to have you all slam the table to answer a question we bring it up. Um, who would like to go first? Okay, <laughs> you can go first. Okay, so you can pick any of the categories and say first, second, third, fourth, or fifth grade. Uh, I'm going to do social studies, third grade. What object begins with the letter Q do people write with during the Middle Ages? I think that was Smith. A quill? That is correct. Mm. Now you may pick a category. Mm. I'll take miscellaneous for 500, please. The energy of a moving object is also called blank. Yes, Mr. Smith? Velocity? No. Nope. Movement? No. Momentum? No. Oh. The answer was kinetic energy. I don't think I would have gotten that one right. No, I have. <laughs> okay, Smith, you may not pick another category. Um, let's do math for 200. What is the area of a triangle with a height of 4 and a width of 4? Yes, Mr. Smith? 8. Yes. Um, I am in geometry right now, and I can't do that at the top of my head. Okay, <laughs> um, Mr. Smith, can you pick another category? Uh, let's, let's keep it in math. Let's go to third grade in math. Okay. The nearest multiple of 10, how many kilograms of cheese are in 110 pounds of cheese? Oh, my God. It's a lot of cheese. Someone with lactose intolerance would not like that. This is not third grade math. No. This is not third grade math. 2.2 pounds. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. There's 2.2 pounds in a kilo. In a you round. A good girl, but I don't know the conversion. I don't, I got, I don't got it. No one's got it? Okay. The answer is 50 pounds of cheese. Oh, wait, no. 50 kilograms of cheese. Yeah. That's way too much cheese. Why is For cheese you. the multiple we're using? Okay. okay. Mr. Smith, you can pick another one. Well, now I'm scared of the math. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Math for what? For first grade. Let's do that one. Math for first grade? Yeah. Okay. I, think I, can um, <laughs> I don't know how this is a math question, but the first day of the 20th century was... Smith? January 1st, 2001. No. Mm. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's so embarrassing. January 1st, 1901? Yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You may pick a category now. Oh, cool. Um, let's do social studies 100. The, fir the first Thanksgiving was celebrated by Native American people and what other group of people? Give, 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 give your answer. I was going to say the colonists. Okay, you, but you may pick a category now. Okay, um, let's do miscellaneous 100. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first two men in the entire world to do what? Walk on the moon. Yeah, I know the I know Neil Ar Armstrong's entire speech by heart because I had a moon when I was younger that would read it out to me every night. <laughs> you had a moon. a moon. My grandpa, um, my grandpa uh, really liked space, so then I really liked space. Okay. You may not pick a category. Um, let's do Social Studies 200. Social Studies 200. What was the first city to ever be attacked by an atomic bomb? <coughs> Mr. Smith? It's probably wrong. Hiroshima? Yes. Okay, Mr. Smith, pick a category. Um, I guess we'll go, uh, it looks over. No one wants English or science, so let's not, <laughs> let's not do those. Um, miscellaneous 200 sounds good. Miscellaneous 200, okay. I know, I'm just not trying to challenge it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I'll get it wrong. <laughs> An insect that has six legs. How many legs does a spider have? Eight. Yeah, finally. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so I guess a spider is not an insect. That's news to me. <laughs> What? <laughs> I didn't. I thought they were an insect. I didn't yeah, know they're not insects. Raccoon. Scorpions, shrimp. Are they spiders and scorpions are related? Yeah. <laughs> That's scorpions, bonkers. Scorpions are raccoons. Sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, miscellaneous three hundred. Miscellaneous three hundred. Yes. Once an item's copyright expires, the right to reproduce it passes into the blank. Yes. Public domain. Yeah. <laughs> okay, pick a category. Um, I let's do science. Uh, 300. 300, okay. What phenomenon, what phenomenon might be felt on the Earth's surface when two tectonic plates rub against each other? I think that was Smith. An earthquake. Yeah! It was a weird really fancy word to a way to work earthquakes. It's not the same level of difficulty as changing pounds into kilograms. Yeah, that was all <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, let's do English for 500. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Take the horns here. Oh. This, what's this the name is. of the most famous English playwright? Shakespeare? Yeah. <laughs> Smith, that was the only like kind of arts related one and you mm. didn't get it. I, I just thought somebody else would enjoy that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very, very generous. Very nice. Yes. Very generous of you. Okay, you may pick a category. Um, let's go English 100. Okay. What is the pl plural of moose? Moose? Yes. <laughs> I thought your answer was going to be wrong. I'm gonna say meese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go English 200. Meeses. <laughs> Is red an adjective or a noun? <laughs> <laughs> it's an adjective. No. Right? It's a describing word. Smith? <laughs> Neither are. I guess I'm gonna go with noun. It's both. 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 It's Hieroglyphics? Yes, that's correct. Thank you for getting it right so I didn't have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, social studies, 500. Okay. I just want to see how you would have said it. Um, <laughs> hero. Hero. I'm not going to even try. What was the name of the last queen of France? The last queen of France? The final one. Something happened to her very sadly. Um, yeah. Mary Antoinette? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you know that she actually didn't say let them have cake? It is a kind of bread. I I I watched that on a thing um, called Puppet History. Puppet. The Puppet. Puppets tell the history. I do actually know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do miscellaneous four hundred. Okay. What is the minimum age for a U.S. president? Smith. Thirty-five. Yeah, I for sure thought that was forty-five. <laughs> Seems that way. Who's the youngest person? Kennedy? Oh, okay. Pick a category. Let's do uh, math 400. Math 400. 300 was scary last time, too. <laughs> quadratic formula. The interior angles of a triangle always add up to blank. 180? Yeah. That was a question mark with that one. <laughs> I actually knew that. I knew that, I knew that one. Uh, math 500. Okay. Thanks for being proud of me. <laughs> Always. If a football field is 100 yards long, how many feet long is a football field? I don't know who went first. You had to pick that one. It's me. Mm -hmm. 300 feet. Good job. You played football, thank so you, you should know that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Athlete over here. <laughs> That's why I <laughs> Okay, pick a category. Uh, let's do science for 500. Okay. What kind of animal can live in both water and land? 
Amphibian. Yeah. Shout out to my etymology kids. <laughs> <laughs> Ambi, both amphibian. Oh, that's a new thing. I like that. I know that nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I have science for Science for Okay. The part of the eye that controls the amount of light that enters the eye. Should we go? Lens? No. Oh. Cornea? No. Nick, you got this. Um, how about... <gasps> oh. <laughs> the retina. No. Oh, okay. Can I go second? Pupil? Um, you can't get points, but you may tell me the answer. The iris? No. Pupil. Oh, yeah. It's the pupil. The pupil, that's what it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, I only knew that because of AP psychology. Um, you know, um, you know, fourth grade. Because your pupils fourth get grade. bigger <laughs> when you put them on. They dilate. Like, I've learned that in an AP course, but I mean, cool things that fourth graders know that. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to pick the category this time since you all got it wrong. Oh. Um, we're going to do <laughs> English 400. What do you call a group of crows? Murder. Yeah. Murdering these answers. Key fourth grade information. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing you learn in fourth, fourth grade. Fourth grade about murder today. Yeah. Okay, pick a category. Um, let's keep it rolling in English. Okay. The main series of events in a story is called a what? Plot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my AP Lit kids. <laughs> 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 so this plot <laughs> is thickening. Okay. Uh, science 200, please. Yes. True or false? Bats are manly. True. Yeah. They got hair. They're hairy. I thought they were bugs. No. <laughs> 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 In in I don't know why we have so many fancy names. It should just be mammals, insects, and like reptilians. Okay. Last question. Is Hell science <laughs> 100? Who invented the light bulb in 1879? Should we go? Thomas Edison? Yes. Do you know um, Henry Ford, not Harrison Ford, worked with him? Oh. Yeah. Why would I think Harrison Ford? Harrison Ford. I'll ask I'll ask Caden and then I could reveal the winner. We are now ready to announce the scores. So Miss Mitchell had 1,700. Mr. Chirico had 2,100. And Mr. Smith with 2,500 points. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Great job. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on today. And this is the end of our second episode of Teacher Trivia.